So you might be wondering why the Z4 is jacked up today. I previously thought that the clutch delay valve had been deleted already, but apparently it isn't. So the car is jacked up now. I'm going to get under the car and we're going to take out the clutch delay valve. You can actually see the clutch delay valve from your engine compartment. And so I'm going to try and give you the best view that I can. And I'll point it out as to where it is. Right there. So all you have to do is get under the car and remove it and you'll have a much better clutch engagement. Okay, so when you get underneath the car, you don't even have to remove any panels in order to access the uh, clutch delay valve. So here it is. It's located obviously right on your transmission. This is leading to the slave cylinder. This is the hose. And this is the clutch delay valve right here. You're going to want to clamp off this uh, hydraulic hose right here. And the way you do it is with one of these, the vice grips. And one of the pro tips that I can give you is to use some tubing to cover over the ends of your vice grips so that when you're clamping onto the hydraulic hose, you're not clamping on it with metal. Um, and that'll basically save your clamp, uh, save your hydraulic hose from getting destroyed. Okay, so you can see the inside of this, you can see that the hole is very, very small. So after taking this piece out, the clutching, clutch engagement should be a lot better. I don't know if you can still see it. Yeah, there we go. I've been told by some people that the clutch feels a little bit lighter after removing it as well because you're not pushing a lot of... Uh, fluid through a little hole anymore and I'll kind of give you a review of uh, how this car feels in terms of clutch engagement if it really is as big of a difference as uh, other people make it to be. Sitting off here in the Z4 without the uh, clutch delay valve, first does the clutch feel lighter? Yeah actually honestly it feels a little bit lighter. I don't know if it's a placebo effect because I hear that other people are saying that but it certainly feels a little bit lighter to me. I was actually able to engage the clutch with my hands before as I was testing the clutch. So I'm pretty sure that there actually is a difference. So let's see from first to second if it actually feels a lot better. Okay, yeah, definitely. The clutch obviously catches on a lot quicker and you can immediately tell the difference. The higher gears, you don't really feel much of a difference. But uh, definitely from that first to second gear change, there was a difference. All right, let's come to a stop and do the same thing. See, first, second, yep. It's such a quick mod, I definitely recommend doing it. I'm not gonna go into whether or not I believe BMW should have done this to their cars. Apparently they don't, they don't do this to a lot of their M models, which basically says that they're expecting the average BMW driver not to know how to drive stick. So overall, is it a mod that you should do? Definitely. Are you gonna be able to do it yourself? Probably. I actually didn't have to bleed the clutch. I'm assuming if I had to bleed the clutch, it would be a little bit more difficult. But overall, the process was pretty simple. So if you guys have any questions about doing this mod, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching as always. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.